Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel and I'm playing today uh, Train Life, uh, a railway simulator and uh, not been on this game for uh, a few weeks and want to get back into a little bit more of this and start to level up some cities so that's what we are about to start today. Let's crack on with it. Hi everybody, welcome back. How's everybody doing? So yeah, back on Train Life a Railway Simulator. I know it's still quite a popular game this, so I'm going to keep on doing the videos while other people are enjoying them. Uh, so yeah, I've been uh, doing passenger runs uh, of late to try and earn some money. And uh, I actually got up to 200 and odd thousand pounds and I ended up buying uh, another uh Lechner Cock FZ18 or is it Koch? Cock Koch, don't know. Um so I've now got uh three of those all together now. <laughs> and the reason I bought it is because I thought I'd set somebody else on doing some uh, other passenger runs as well. Um and I would start doing some uh cargo runs. Uh well, I didn't realise I'd still got this uh Sol's gitter. So uh, I may end up selling that, I don't know, uh, get 90,000 for that back, but I don't need it at the moment. But I've, yeah, I've, uh, I had Erin Ritchie, if you remember, um, who was doing some passenger runs, and I've now set on this guy called uh, Simon Chris, uh, and he's also doing some passenger runs, so hopefully they will bring some money in. I am going to be using this one uh, in yellow, and doing some, uh, as I said, some cargo runs and leveling up some cities. So let's get out of here. Let's just quickly go into the uh, dashboard area and I will uh, have a look at, um, where are we, company? I want employee list. Just to show you what's happening here. So yeah, Erin Rishi is going between Calais and Lille and uh, she's 94% uh, done on this particular run and uh, we've got uh, is it Simon or Simon Chris uh, and he's obviously uh, yet to start and I was actually at um, uh, London uh, Warehouse at the moment so uh, he's got to actually travel over to Calais to, uh, to get his jobs started but I've set him on repeat journey so hopefully he should start bringing in some uh, money. Somebody did point out once when I first set up Erin uh, that I hadn't got her going to a main station, I got her going to a warehouse I think so uh, as you can see there though she's between Calais Main and Lille Main and uh, Simon is between Calais Main and Antwerp Main so that's that. So we need to sort uh, myself out now so um, I've, I've been looking on this map and uh, we are at uh, she Shechin is it? Uh, main at the moment and I was looking at uh, actually going down here to um, Poznan or Ponyan um, to uh, to start leveling this city up. Now if we look at uh, the cities um, and we look at uh, Ponyan, Poznan, I'm going to call it Poznan I think, I'm not too sure on what it is. Uh, they require coal grain and heating. So I am going to get some uh, grain. Uh, now, looking at the tree, now if anybody hasn't seen this, I mean, to be honest, I'm not too familiar with it. I'm kind of uh, learning it as, as I go. I've not done an awful lot of, well, I've done any levelling up, city levelling up, to be fair. I've done a few cargo runs, but they were just general runs. I've done passenger runs, but I've not done levelling up of cities. So this is something that's new to me. Um, so... Yeah, production tree. If if we look on here, um, well, actually, let's let's just go back to the cities. If we look at Ponya, I meant to show you this before I moved on to that screen. To be honest, I wish you could hold the buttons down on here to to just let it auto scroll down the page. You've you've got to click for each city, which is a bit annoying. But if you look on the right hand side, it says uh, level two requirements. They require. Well, yeah, we have looked at it. Sorry, we, we, we have looked at it, haven't we? So they, they require coal, grain, and heating oil. So if you go back to here, uh,
onto there cold grain and heating oil so if we look at the top uh, we have uh, coal which obviously we get from a coal mine and if we move further along uh, the blue uh, icons we've got grain which we get from the farm fairly obviously so if we look at the map we have in actual fact a farm just here we have Chechen farm and um, we can then take that from the farm down to uh, Poznan grain mill here so hopefully that is going to sort that out so let's sort that let's get to uh, Chechen farm um, let's open the station panel and we want to take some grain um, in actual fact I'm now just wondering can we only take can we only do the ones that they're giving us contracts for because that's poo pooed my whole point of the video if that's the case um, Was that no oh, no there is one there there is one that's fine that's good although unfortunately it's one uh, sorry it's one yeah one short isn't it we've got nine wagons we could have done with ten wagons really that is a shame let's just see if there's another one along here no there isn't any more that's a shame I don't think I've missed one. No. So I'm just looking at livestock delivery, any food processing plant, any grain mills. So we could actually take one of those as well, though, while we're going. So let's get that. Let's get that one there. We'll reserve that. And we'll reserve. I'm not sure you do. You, I can't. Do you know? I can't remember. Do we reserve those? There's no button to reserve. It is the. So I don't know how. We go about with that. Can't do anything on that one. But we've, we've reserved the. Yeah, that's definitely reserved. If we unreserve that, let's just have a look here. Cancel reservation. Let's go back to. No, we still can't. Uh, I can't remember how to do that, guys. We'll we'll, we'll find that out as we go. Uh, let's just uh, let's just get this sorted, right? So let's get back out of that, and we now need to set a route to the farm, and then on to the grain mill. Right. Okay. That's sorted. That. Uh, now we also need to turn around so let's just pop back into here <clears throat> and reverse the train um, which yeah that's the one and away we are going let's get the brake off and off we trot so hopefully this is going to work out. Like I said, I've not really done this before. So um, it, it's all new to me. So it's like a lot of um, my videos. If, you know, you know, if you've seen it before, you're perhaps not going to learn a lot. If you haven't seen it before, you may well learn something. Like I will. Now what I'm going to do actually is I'm just going to go into the settings. Just want to um, the sound effects volume is up. It always seems to be pretty quiet on this game to me. Yeah, everything's up at a hundred, isn't it? So I can't really do a lot about that. Might be just my headset. I don't know. Right, what speed are we on then? So we are on a 60 limit. So we're just going along, along nicely. And we've 
we've got a train up ahead already. Let's just take this steady and see how things pan out. It's just over a kilometre away, this train. So and I'm not I'm promising myself guys I'm not doing any more mumping about this game. Um, it is as it is now. And I don't think there's going to be anything else done on the game, DLC wise or patch wise or anything like that. It is as it is. And um, you know, it's got its as I said before, it's got its foibles, but it is well it, it always has been playable to be honest. And uh I do enjoy it, although it gets frustrating sometimes. So, uh, yeah, it is as it is. There's no more going to be said um, from a negative point of view. Just get on with the game and enjoy it. <clears throat> Let's just wait for this train to come along. I seem to turn the, uh... oh there we go, I'm pressing the wrong stick, I was going to say I couldn't turn the camera around for a moment, <clears throat> it's me moving the wrong stick. Give him a toot. If anybody's interested uh, in seeing a little bit of uh, Train Sim World, by the way, I, ha I do have that game. So I don't know if anybody's interested in uh, having a look at that. Are we doing any videos on that? Give me some suggestions which you uh, would like to see. But uh, it's not something I've touched upon. Uh, I think I do prefer this game, to be honest, over Train Sim World. Uh, there's a bit more to it. Um, it's a bit more of a city builder type, isn't it? And... There's a bit more to it rather than just driving trains around. Um, but having said that, train sim world's a bit more simmy in the driving of the trains. So, uh, you know, if you, if you do fancy that, if anybody's watching this video, I'm assuming you're interested in trains. If you fancy seeing some train sim world, then, uh, then drop a comment. <clears throat> oh, what was that? I missed that message. Has she made us some money? I don't know. I'll try and remember to have a look later. And please remember, if you do uh, like the video, guys, please give the video a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel for more content. And uh, click that notification bell and join the Discord. I'll put a link in the description for you. Now I'm going to try and keep the videos going as well um, over the next few weeks. I, we do have a couple of gigs coming up uh, at the beginning of July. So uh, as we go uh, into June, um, the videos may drop off a little bit during that period. Um, just in case anybody didn't know, I, I do uh, drum for uh, a local band and uh, we've got a couple of outdoor um, festivals coming up. So... Uh, so yeah, may uh, may be need needing to uh, get a bit more practicing on the old drums and uh, and uh, getting uh, getting a bit more fluid ready for those gigs. But uh, we'll see how things go anyway. And it's looking a lovely day here, isn't it? What's our speed now? It's uh, 80, isn't it? So let's get that speed increased slightly. Let's have a front view, shall we?
So what we got to uh, Sheshin Farm, it's um, just over five kilometres, isn't it? Now I'm picking nine wagons up. I don't know whether this train or this loco is capable of uh, taking nine, but I'm going to be taking the nine anyway. And if it all goes a little bit uh, pear-shaped, then so be it. But we'll be right, won't we? We'll be right. Or as we say in, say in Sheffield, we'll be right. That's Sheffield, South Yorkshire, England, by the way, not Sheffield in, uh, in the US of A. Just in case I've got any uh, any of my uh, my stateside uh, viewers watching. Although I would imagine they don't talk like me with an accent like mine in Sheffield, USA, do they? Bring that speed down a bit, just creeping over that limit. Although I think while we're in the amber, we're uh, we're okay, aren't we? Ooh, in actual fact, do we need some uh, lights on? I think. To get caught out by the the old railway police. So we have another train up ahead. Although it's showing blue, so it looks like we are okay to proceed. Because right, we're going off there to the farm, that's that's fine. That train's on the other track, so that's cleared that problem. Let's get back in the train. I keep saying train, loco, isn't it? It's not really a train until we've got things on it. Shall we get on the pickup track? Now I'll have to see if I can remember how to pick up these uh, wagons because as I'm thinking just at this moment in time, I can't really remember how we do it. I'll go to the far end because we don't want the wagons being put on the other side. I mean, I don't know, what, I can't remember whether that has any bearing on it, if I'm honest, but... Um, come on, stop, stop, stop. Let's put the handbrake on and let's see what we have here then, so... Okay, so we uh, use LB and RB move through the wagons. Is that right? RT couple, D couple. How do we move through the wagons then? Well, put on tracks, right? Okay, that's better. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we've got nine there. That's good. Um, we need to couple that don't we so it's that one we're coupling isn't it 
Uh, how do we? Can't remember what we put. I'm not sure. I want to finish as yet. How do we connect? Oh, is it RT? Isn't it? it says there, right? Okay. Right. Uh, let's just move on through the contracts. Now you see, we could, we, there aren't any other contracts in. So I can't remember how we, how we pick up the um, the empty wagons for delivery. I don't know why we're not picking any of those up. Because I tried, didn't I, back on the uh, information panel. <clears throat> um, but, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like I can pick any up here. I'll have to uh, try that again next time. So, I think we've done here. Finish. Okay, let's just have a quick look outside. Just make sure we have got them loaded on. We certainly have. That's Brill. Right, okay. And let's carry on to Poznan Grain Mill then. Okay. Handbrake off. And let's get on our way. Oh, it's pulling away, okay. So, and that's nine wagons, I think, isn't it? Fifty limit at the moment. Need to keep right. So we've got fifteen clicks to go then. We've still got lights on. Yes, we have. I've always been conscious of uh, having too much weight um, on the train because um, I remember on one of my videos I uh, got caught on this quite steep hill and I just couldn't get up this hill. Uh, in fact, I started sliding back down and then because I was using the handbrake a lot, I went and uh, damaged the train to, I think it was 100% or very near. Um, so yeah, Somebody mentioned they have a maximum of six wagons on this train um, but I think I was using the old uh, what is it the salts salts girl whatever they call it um, so uh, I think this one is a little bit more powerful than the one I had at the time but as long as we don't come across any steep hills we should be fine Just looking on the left map there, the mini map, there's a turning on the right here, but it's not giving us any. Oh, yes, it is. It's just come up now. Although, why is it saying right? Oh, no, that's fine. That's okay. I thought for a moment, oh, we haven't used our horn, have we? Just was looking at the map, just making sure we're going the right way.
Nice starry sky. Makes me want to get onto Elite Dangerous again. When I see scenes like that. It looks like the grain is actually um, luminous, doesn't it? Is it radioactive grain? Very bright. How far have we got now? Just under 10k to go. Just knock a bit of speed off. Where's that train? I thought there was a train nearby then for a moment. Hey, look at that as well, 100% condition. That's an achievement for me. It really is. If anybody's seen my antics before, or on Fernbus, for example, you'll know what I'm talking about. So I must remember when we uh, get to the grain mill to uh, have a look at how our two workers are going, just to keep a check on them. There was, I said there was, there was a message came up earlier, but um, oops, just knock some speed off. But I, yeah, I just missed it. We we'll need to remember to have a look. Still speeding. I do so wish this was uh, 60 FPS though. I really do. When I played it on uh, my GeForce Now version, um, it was 60 FPS and it, and it was great. And I just wish it was on here. If I'm playing a game now on the next gen consoles, uh, and you, you generally get the option, don't you, on a, on a console of uh, graphics, quality, or performance, uh, and I will, ooh, I can't say every time, but I will generally choose the performance uh, over the graphics quality. Um, to, to me, the, the the 60 FPS really improves the quality of the game. I'd rather play at 1080p 60 FPS than 4K at 30 FPS. Uh, some some older games that's in 1080p. It's it's like playing a different game if you can play it in 60 FPS. Um, I mean, each to their own, as I always say, but. Um, 
that that's how I think about it. And uh, I just so wish that to, uh, I wish we had an option on it actually on this game. You know, to to, to kind of uh, play it how you well not play it but to see it how you would like to see it. Um, just to have a performance or a a quality uh, option would be nice because I would definitely choose the 60 FPS. <laughs> I think the problem is as well, when you look at a game that hasn't got uh, 60 FPS, uh, because you get used to uh, to playing games with it, um, it kind of, I don't know, it just it seems to look worse somehow. Worse than if you're not used to 60 FPS. I mean, if you've just got your camera looking ahead like that, it's not a massive deal breaker, is it, really? But to, if, if you start to move your camera around, you, you just start to see that blurriness, which uh, which is a shame. Right, so we're nearly there, just one and a half... K okay to go. Still at a hundred percent on the condition. Wow. Jeez, that's uh, that's unheard of for me. I'm hoping I've chosen the right to uh I oh, know I haven't. Ah Bummer. We're going to have to backtrack. I forgot to change over my track on the sat nav. Which is a bit of a shame, everything was going too well, wasn't it, really? We will just back up until we get to the, uh, the junction behind. We actually asked for permission, I can't remember. We've not got fine, have we? <laughs> got away with that one. <coughs> Excuse me. Them guys are there thinking, what the bloody hell is he doing? Does he know how to drive? Right. Let's try again, folks. So we want drop off track. That's better. It's because it was saying grain mill and uh, of course, because that's where I'm heading to, I'm just naturally assuming that's where we need to be going. But uh, no, it's the drop-off track we want, isn't it? <clears throat> I did wonder when I saw that green uh, that green V up ahead. I thought that doesn't look right. There we go. Looking for the orange down arrow. And then 
assuming we can stop anywhere on this orange um, area. I don't think it makes any difference from what I remember. So, come on, come on, stop, stop, stop. Right, handbrake on. Let's go into decoupling mode. And... Uh, right, what we're doing here, confirmed delivery, so, but we have to, we have to go through the, uh, the coupling first, that's it. Um, and now confirm delivery, do we? Yes. And then finish. Yes, sorted. Right, ooh. 46,258 for that, 600 XP. And wagons are delivered nine, yet yeah, time modifier 1.186. Um, <clears throat> so if we look at their level two requirements now for the grain, that, so we have delivered it to the right place for the start. Uh, I was wondering whether it needed to go to the warehouse, but I don't. I think that's the finished product, the warehouse. Um, until it's a finished product, uh, we need to be delivering it to the um, the various processing places. So, uh, so they need one more grain. They need some uh, coal. I think it is the one on the left, isn't it? And gas is the one on the right. I think. So uh, let's actually see more details. What does that tell us? Oh, I see. So we've got a time bonus there and an extra 94 XP for that. Okie dokie. Right. That's that then. So let's just have a quick look at our workers and let's see what's happening with those guys. So... Uh, they're both resting, obviously, at the moment, because we're not working. Um, so, yeah, Herring's made us 17,000. And uh, Simon is resting. Uh, does he not actually tell you where they are currently? It tells you the route, doesn't it, but... Thought I saw it. Oh, yes, current location, Calais, Maine. That's it, under his name. So, he, so he's at Calais. So uh, he's obviously uh, just about to set off. In fact, he may have just just set off, to be honest. But, um, but yes, that's. Uh, let's just get back to uh, where are we? I want to get back to company company summary. Uh, so. Pounds earned from employees last 24 hours, 5,821. So we have earned a little bit of money then. I mean, I think that was Erin, as I said. So there we go, guys. Right, we've done our first levelling up. Everything went fairly smooth, didn't it? So listen, thanks very much for watching. If you've made it this far, all credit to you. Remember to give the video a thumbs up. It really does help the channel along. I'm really trying to grow the channel now. And, um, you know, aiming to get to uh, 500 subscribers uh, at some point this summer, if, if at all possible. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm just taking it in my stride at, uh, at the moment. But uh, it would be uh, really great. I've had some good positive uh, feedback from you guys. Um, and the subs keep coming in. And uh, you're obviously enjoying what you're, you're seeing and you're hearing. Um, if you've got any hints and tips, anything you'd like to see me do a little bit differently, please drop us a line. You know, it's, it's our channel. It's not just my channel necessarily. Um, so uh, yeah, thanks again. Give the video a thumbs up. Please subscribe and click that notification bell for more videos. And don't forget the Discord channel. Link in the description. So we will catch you next time. Take care and bye for now.